this video the four most powerful adaptogens you can use to fight stress, high blood pressure, and ultimately to lower your creatinine levels. Adaptogens are a select group of herbs and some mushrooms that support and restore the body's natural balance. And there is a lot of buzz surrounding adaptogens these days. I got a lot of comments from you guys asking about ashwagandha and some of the other remedies. And I get it, some of these herbs have very powerful properties and spoiler alert, they can really do what they promise. But you should also consider that many of the supplements on the market can be dangerous, especially for people with kidney disease. So. What I did for this video was finding out what adaptogens are actually safe and effective and what they can do to help you. My name is Catherine and this is Double O Kini. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Tap the subscribe button and set the notification bell to all if you want to be notified about my next videos. Before I start, I want to clarify just one thing. I don't believe in panaceas and in other miracle cures that are supposed to heal everyone and everything. If someone tells you that there is a remedy to cure every illness, they're probably lying. So I wouldn't be making this video if I wasn't sure that the adaptogens I'm showing you today can help people suffering from CKD. I'm telling you this because all adaptogens have one main benefit in common. They can be used to treat stress. And stress is a known risk factor of kidney disease. Let's start now with what's maybe the most popular adaptogen. Ashwagandha. Of all the adaptogens, this is one that's going to even things out. Unlike the other remedies I'll show you next, this one isn't going to boost your energy. It will help you calm and rest instead, which can be great for people with hypertension. Also known as Indian ginseng, the root of ashwagandha has long been used in Ayurveda. But can it help people with kidney problems? Well, there are lab and animal studies to show that ashwagandha has three very important benefits for your kidneys. First of all, ashwagandha has been shown to substantially reduce cortisol levels, reduce anxiety, and alleviate symptoms in those with chronic stress conditions. Yes, ashwagandha seems really effective at lowering the symptoms of stress and anxiety. Now, don't underestimate this property. Stress can really mess up your heart and your blood pressure something you absolutely don't want if you care about your kidneys. So, if you're stressed, this root can help. Now, the other reason I think ashwagandha can help is its kidney-protecting effect. In a study, the commercially available powder root of Withania somnifera was administered in rats at the same time as an antibiotic known to cause kidney damage. It was observed that the rats taking ashwagandha took significant less damage to their kidneys than the rats taking just the antibiotic. And while there is a need for more studies before this can be proven true for humans too, their results on animals are still very significant. Also, ashwagandha may help lower blood sugar levels. Most of these benefits are linked to dosages of 500 to 600 milligrams per day taken for at least one month. It shouldn't be easy enough to find it as a powder on Amazon.com or at your local herbal store. But remember that if you have kidney disease, you should always clear the use of supplements with your doctor. Now, the next adaptogen is used to fight fatigue, but it also has some very interesting health benefits backed by science. Let's take a look. Astragalus, or 
Huangqi is one of the 50 fundamental herbs in traditional Chinese medicine. Astragalus, as an adaptogen, is used to fight fatigue, but it also has several health benefits including immune boosting, anti-aging, and anti-inflammatory effects. Astralagus is also used against heart disease, high blood sugar levels, and other conditions. These benefits may be really helpful for kidney health. If you have kidney disease, taking care of your heart health and blood sugar levels is vital. Now, does Astralagus really do what it promises? Well, there is a very interesting review of studies about the benefits of astragalus for people with kidney disease. Researchers included 22 studies that involved 1,323 kidney patients, of whom 241 were receiving dialysis treatment. Now, this is really interesting. According to the author, astragalus significantly increased creatinine clearance, an indicator of kidney function comparable to GFR, and also decreased creatinine levels and proteinuria in many of the participants of the study. The author also indicates that the effects were more visible in patients in the initial stages of kidney disease. <sighs> really encouraging results in my opinion since many of the kidney disease patients involved in these studies got great benefits in terms of kidney function from the use of this adaptogen but not all the participants of these studies got the same results and while this is to be expected when we look at the review of studies conducted with different methods it still suggests caution so before rushing to buy yourself some of this wonderful herbal remedy, also consider that astragalus can have interaction with diabetes and antihypertension drugs. It will make them more effective, which is to be expected. It's not really a side effect, but still be careful and inform your doctor if you want to try it. Now. Let's take a look at the next remedy. This one may look like it's coming from a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a really ancient remedy. Cordyceps. This adaptogen is maybe the opposite of ashwagandha. First, cordyceps is not even an herb. It's a tiny, strange-looking sac fungus that behaves as a rather nasty parasitic species. Documented in traditional Chinese medicine since the 15th century, cordyceps has been and still is used as a primary gene tonic, taken to stimulate the life force. This is why I think it's the opposite of ashwagandha. But just like ashwagandha, cordyceps, like other adaptogens, is used to assist the body in creating and maintaining balance during times of stress. It's supposed to directly influence how our cells make ATP, the body's energy currency, and enhances oxygen utilization. Okay, but can this remedy help people suffering from kidney disease? Well, cordyceps is now becoming popular even in Europe and in the US thanks to several studies proving its benefits. Cordyceps has very interesting properties in fighting inflammation, fighting tumors, boosting strength, and in reducing fatigue. Cordyceps also contains a special type of sugar that may help treat diabetes. Here is the best part. In a review of 22 studies on cordyceps, almost 1,000 kidney patients were found to have significantly lowered their creatinine levels with the use of this wonderful remedy. Now, these patients were not on dialysis and were still following the prescribed therapies for kidney disease. They basically were able to reduce their creatinine levels, reduce proteinuria, and also hemoglobin and serum albumin levels. 
This basically means an all-around improvement in kidney health and kidney function. The only problem with all these researches is that while cordyceps is a very ancient remedy, scientists started to carefully study it just recently. And while these findings are extremely encouraging, we need bigger numbers to be sure about these results. Still, a lot of people are already using cordyceps and this remedy is already approved in the US by the FDA and it's considered safe. Now, what you see here are cordyceps sinensins. They are fungi growing on worms. This is a very difficult to harvest remedy and carries a price tag of more than 9,000 USD per pound. For this reason, the majority of cordyceps supplements contain a synthetically grown version called cordyceps CS4. To ensure you buy high quality cordyceps supplements, look for brands that carry the United States USP seal or the international NSF seal. These are third-party organizations that ensure supplements contain the ingredients listed on the label without impurities. So, just like for the foods you eat, you should always check very carefully the labels of the supplements you take. In any case, you should be able to find this remedy easily if you think you need an energy and kidney health boost. The dosage commonly used in human research is 1000 to 3000 milligrams per day. Okay, the last and maybe most powerful adaptogen is turmeric. Turmeric is used in Ayurvedic medicine, a holistic approach to health that originated in India over 3000 years ago. Today, turmeric, and especially its most active compound, curcumin, have many scientifically proven health benefits. It's a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant, and may help improving symptoms of depression and arthritis. But it's also often used to treat nausea. And while these properties are useful, What's really interesting about turmeric is its powerful anti-inflammatory ability. So, how can turmeric fight kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease like diabetes and cardiovascular disorders is an inflammatory disease. A natural remedy like turmeric that can reduce the inflammation will go a great way in slowing down the progression of these diseases while soothing the symptoms. As an anti-inflammatory, turmeric protects against chronic kidney disease and progression to end-stage renal failure, according to a 2014 article published in the journal Molecules. The curcumin in turmeric blunts the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that cause chronic kidney disease. Yes! Curcumin actually blocks different substances that play a role in causing inflammation in the kidneys, according to recent studies. But there is more, because turmeric can also lower high blood pressure. Medline Plus reports that taking turmeric for three months may help reducing blood pressure in people with kidney inflammation. Another study found out that curcumin, the active ingredient of turmeric, can even stabilize and decrease blood sugar levels in people with diabetes. This can be really useful in managing the complications of diabetes, including diabetic kidney disease. Turmeric is considered safe in the recommended dose of about half teaspoon a day. People that should be careful with turmeric are those suffering from kidney stones, those on anti-clotting medications, and pregnant women. So again, always consult your doctor before starting to take any supplement or herbal remedy. Okay guys, this was our last one for today. It's clear in my opinion that at least some adaptogens can help people with kidney disease, especially those in the early stages of CKD. 
And while caution is always the best approach, I always feel relieved to know that there are herbs that can give you a significant help without dangerous side effects. A new video is coming next Friday. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you for watching.